everyone, it's me, Dama, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a bikini swimsuit cover-up, so make sure to stay tuned. Okay, so first I'm going to start with a piece of fabric. This is a remnant that I have. And it's a long sew, and I'm going to be measuring it to see how long it is from right here. So it measures 52 inches. So what I'm going to be doing is placing it and pinning it on my body. This all varies according to your body type and how you want it. So I'm going to be doing it like a Greek one shoulder cover up. So I'm going to be placing it right on top of my shoulder. And I'm going to be pinning it down. Make sure you are wearing clothes where you can pin it down. So that's how it's going to first look. And then I'm going to place it how I want it to cover my body. And I'm going to go over my entire body like so. And even make this kind of drape along so. Or you can even make it straight and tight, like that. I actually don't know. But if you do drape it, this is going to be, this isn't going to be covering. So we're going to have to make it tight. So make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to be, if you do it more like up, it's going to be, this is going to be more up. So. You're going to be at the beach, so it's fine. So we're going to be pinning it along where you want it. So I'm going to pin it right here with the fabric. Now, so I'm going to pin it right here. And this is a cotton, like, knit. Not knit. It's a cotton, like, net, net fabric. So this is how it's going to look. And the next step is to cut the bottom. So make sure to stand straight and either you can do it or someone else can do it make sure to um, for someone to do like a line straight across and then you just cut it so we're gonna just leave this here for now and we're gonna be cutting it straight okay guys so I already have a straight line that I did with a yellow chalk along the bottom and my sister actually helped me do that because um, I couldn't do it myself. So if you have the um, help of other of someone else, that would be great. So I already have my yellow line that I have all around, and now I'm gonna be cutting it. So I'm gonna be taking this off, and I'm gonna be cutting it. But when once you take this off, make sure to take this, let me just take it off right now. I'm gonna take this top off, and I'm just gonna slide it down and keep this attached. Okay, so this is how it is. And I'm gonna pin it even more so we don't lose this. I'm going to be cutting the yellow line that I have on the bottom. So this is how it looks once I've cut the bottom of the cover up. And just keep in mind that this won't be perfect, so that's fine, don't stress out if it's not perfect. And the next step is to sew this little part that we that we pinned along the right hand side of our body. So make sure to not sew the entire thing shut or closed. Just sew a little bit, maybe like two two inches right here. So we have that little peekaboo along the right hand side of our leg. So I'm just gonna be sewing that and then I'm gonna be coming back. So now I've sewn that part of the right hand side where it's going to be um, enclosed. So that is done and now we're going to be working with what we are going to use that we're going to attach to right here. So this stays on our shoulder and attached to the back. So we're going to be working on that. This is a piece of fabric and this what I did was just cut two um, really long pieces and didn't cut the end so they're still attached if you can see that 
And I'm going to be zooming you in so you guys see a little closer. This is how it looks. I didn't cut the bottom. So the next step is that I am going to be doing a knot. And then I'm going to be doing more knots. And I'm going to make another knot just to seal that one in even more. So that's one knot. And I'm going to do that. looks and the next step is to actually put the on the sarong to see how much of this you need so now I am wearing the cover-up and the next thing to do is to attach that piece to right here so I just pinned it along so so you just put it in the back and try to figure out where this piece needs to go you know where it's gonna be located in my back so now I'm going to be pinning it down, if I can, or if you do have someone else's help, definitely let them know. So that was the video. That is how it turned out. I went to my local beach here in San Diego to show you guys how it fit, and I really loved it. And I used a cotton stretchy meshy fabric. So that's what I use. I always particularly use stretchy fabric, silicra, polyester, cotton. So that was the um, video that I had for you guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you happen to like it. And subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to put all the video requests down below. And check out all my social media as well. At Thalma V425, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. At Thalma V425. And check out my blog as well, Dama B. Lova. I'm going to be putting a blog post as well so you guys see how it fit on in pictures. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.